Hi, lovely to meet you, Ginny. I haven't met you before. It's really nice to, 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 to meet you. Shirlene's an old mate, so I, I know, I've known her for a few years. Nice to meet you too. I'm very pleased to be here with you both. It's good to, for us to, I guess, think about Pride and, and Mardi Gras and all that history. Um, I think that it's a special month, so it's a nice opportunity for us to have a bit of a discussion. For me, Pride, Pride Month itself, so as a proud Wiradjuri Wobunja Ewan woman, um, lesbian mum, <laughs> Being um, a part of Pride Month and being able to celebrate who I am um, with my, along with my people and peers, you know, like such as yourselves, and getting to know more about, you know, activism with the 78ers and where we're at and where, how far we've come. I wanted to really talk about um, the first Mardi Gras. You know, that really turbocharged the LGBTIQ movement. When you look back to that, what kind of, I guess, what were the emotions that you remember from that night? It was a fun event for our community. We'd had the political demonstration in the morning. We were asked to do that by activists in San Francisco who were worried about the Briggs Initiative, which would have stopped teachers and other people employed in schools from saying anything positive about being gay or lesbian or trans or anything. Um, and uh, we'd, we'd done the serious political bit and this was a fun event. So we were kind of, was 10, 10, 30 at night looking back, crazy time to have a demo in Darlinghurst, but <laughs> hey, we did it. <laughs> and uh, we, were, we were having fun going down the street. There was a truck playing a couple of songs and then the police started to speed the truck up and then it got quite serious and quite scary. Seeing what happened was just, it was vicious. It was true. It was very traumatic, yeah. One of the big um, enduring things for me um, is that, that it changed things. It, the change was already happening, but it, it kind of uh, increased it. The LGBTIQ community's come a long way, but I think that, um, I, I feel there are still a lot of areas that do need more attention. As queer black mob, is what we call ourselves, BLAQ mob, our Aboriginality is sworn first. Mm. That's what you see first. You yeah, don't yeah. see our yeah. sexuality. Yeah, yeah. You know, we can walk around in, in Rainbow all Day every day, but yet we're still going to get picked out for being Aboriginal. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. That's why it's so important that we can have that platform and, uh, for you and, and everyone. As a historian, how much of a change have you seen from that first Mardi Gras to what we have now? The progress we've made has been quite uneven, um, but I think that if you think back to um, a, a Mardi Gras that was held when you know, it was illegal to be a, a gay male or, and, and act on that in New South Wales through to um, marriage equality, which would have been, I would imagine, pretty unthinkable back when that, that first Mardi Gras Beyond was Beyond our wildest dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I think it took a great deal of um, creativity and bravery and courage to, to imagine uh, that things could be different when mm. you took to the streets in 1978 and I think that our obligation is to carry that forward mm. and to think what world do we want to usher into being. I had my daughter when I was 18 and I remember looking at her and was like I want to be the best me I can ever be and I need to be true to me mm. so then that way she can see <coughs> herself and do what she needs to do to be mm. the best her. So that for me is being proud mm. and showing pride in who I am and that meant, you know, being the staunch black lesbian woman that I am and my daughter loves every bit of it and <laughs> she's like, go my mum and she's the most hetero little chick you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, we have to look across and see um, who, whose voices we can amplify, which parts of our community um, we can elevate. We stand on the shoulders of giants when it comes to that and you know we are in a position of having our voice being heard because of the path of which has been paved for us. And so there's been so much change, so much reform of, of, of anti-homosexual laws essentially, but we have to really stand up against the current anti-trans laws that are coming through, anti-trans bills in the parliament, religious discrimination, and we need to do that as a united community. We need to build, rebuild alliances mm. with other people to support us the same way as we did after that first Mardi Gras in that upsurge of activism in our community. Thank you for sharing your knowledge today. Um, Aunty Di, like you've been my auntie forever now, so just know that. <laughs> Shalane, it's been a pleasure. I'll be coming to you for some history stuff. And, and thank you, Ginny. I think we both learned a lot and really appreciate your engagement too. Thank you. And, and lovely to hear Shirlene again. again. Oh. <laughs>